So de facto segregation and de jure segregation. People seem to not understand what this really means. Uh, obviously, de facto is by custom. De jure means it was law. It was forced on the people. Now, to separate, segregation was forced on the Southerners. Don't you find that weird? We're told that the South was far more racist than the North. It's not that the North wasn't racist, but the South was way worse than the North. That's what we're taught. But they had to be forced in order to separate by law, which doesn't make any sense. Now, what does make sense is that the North was far more racist than the South. The North is the one that won the war, right? When you win the war, you dictate terms. And that's exactly what they did. So they came down, brought their ideology into the South. We know that there were a lot of Black people that were in positions of power in the South. Okay, and then they started kicking Black people out of power, and then they created a law in order to separate Caucasians and Negroes. Because in the North, they had de facto segregation by custom. In the South, it wasn't like that. If the South was so racist, there's no need to create a law in order to separate Caucasians and Negroes. If it was so racist, it was way more racist than the North, there's no need to create a law. But it wasn't as racist. That's the, that's the reason why they had to create a law. It wasn't. But people are believing this. People are believing that black people allowed themselves to be brutalized over centuries. Let's, let's not talk about centuries, over decades upon decades and not do anything about it. Only a small percentage of us would fight back. But the vast majority of us, we don't fight back. So we're treated like garbage. But the Southerners will tell you something different. But ah, it gets ignored. And it gets ignored because the Northerners are telling the story. And the victor writes the history. So we just listen to what the victor says. The victor is not always the good guy. Right? In the North, they didn't have to create a law in order to um, segregate. They had it by custom. But the South was forced because they were accustomed to um, mingling with each other. And then the Northerners won. They didn't like that. So they came down and said, no, 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 no. You, you guys are going to have to separate now. The law is to stop something that was happening before, right? So before that, there was mingling, a lot of mingling. That's one of the reasons why Northerners did not like the South, because white supremacists don't like being around black people. Like in the South, Caucasians and Negroes were around each, around each other 24-7 constantly. To the point where even in movies, they'll show slave owners with black women. Now, in a white supremacist society, not interested in being around black people. You understand? That was the North. So you could tell a lot by people's actions, their culture. You could listen to what they say and what read what they write down, but their actions speak volumes. And in the South... Their actions was to mingle with each other. Caucasians and Negro Negroes mingling with each other. That was the action in the South that the Northerners couldn't stand. And that's why they created a law to segregate Caucasians and Negroes. But people seem to not see that because they're inside the box, right? When you're inside the box, you can't think outside the box, obviously. And if you're indoctrinated, you can't think for yourself. You you repeat the lies over and over and over again. Like It's like being in a cult. You repeat the same thing over and over again, you can't think for yourself. So now you know that the North was far more racist than the South. 